In this video, I'm going to show how I can add a QR code to a course so that whatever page I'm on within the course, so if I go into any of the activities, that QR code will change to be the code for that particular page. Now, where this is very useful is if you're teaching in a mobile environment, so let's say in a sports setting or something like that, and you want the students to access certain pages probably on their phones, rather than trying to tell them to navigate by click here, click here, click here, if the teacher can find it on their phone, bring up the QR code, then the students in turn can come around and quickly scan the code using their phones and then get to the desired page. Now, there are various kind of QR code plugins in the plugin store, but none of them quite worked the way that I wanted to. So the way that I've created this is actually using the filter codes plugin, which I've mentioned before in previous tutorials. And if you haven't come across it, it's absolutely superb. So get that installed, get it enabled, and then we can do some clever things. So what I'm going to do is go through the process of creating this for you. So I'm just going to delete the current block. And then what I need to do is I'm going to add a block. Now I'm using Moodle 3. So for my case, it's called an HTML block. However, in Moodle 4, that's been renamed as text area. So if you're in Moodle 4, you need to find a block called text area. If you're in Moodle 3, you want to find a block called HTML. So I click and I add that. So there's my block appearing at the bottom of the list. I'm now going to go to the cog and I'm going to configure this block. I'm going to give it a, a title. So I'm going to just put it in as QR code. Now, the way that filter codes work is you enter what are called tags. And then they display based on the contents of those tags. So the first tag I'm going to enter is this URL inside curly brackets. Now I'll just save changes and you'll see what that does. What that's done is it's showing the URL of this page. So that's the URL of the page and it's showing that there. If I go into an activity, that's the URL of the activity. Oh, I haven't made the block available, but when I make it visible on all pages, it would show up changing that. I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna edit it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the QR code tags around it. So it now looks like this. So I've got curly brackets QR code. I've then got the this URL tag, which we saw before. I'll just make the screen slightly bigger so we can see it. And then I've got the closing QR code tags. So it looks like that. I'm going to save changes. And what it's done is it's converted the URL for the page into a QR code. And then finally, I'm going to go into the configuration and where it says where this block appears at the moment, it's showing any type of course main page. I want it to appear on any page within the course. So I save changes. So it's now appearing on the main page. But if I go into a particular activity, it will appear there. And this code is going to point straight to that link there. And if I go into a different activity, you get a different QR code, which is unique to this code here. A very, very simple technique, but potentially very powerful. Now I've added this at course level. If you were a site admin, you have got the option. You could actually add this at site level and you could just force it so it appears right through the site. So it appears on every single page. You could also, if you wanted, set it so that the teachers can access it by going into permissions. And where it says view block, you could have it so that the teacher can see it, but you could set it so that the students don't. But personally, I think there might be uses for a student if they've got multiple devices and they're accessing it on a computer, but they want to get to the same page on a phone. Well, it would actually be useful for them. So I'd probably leave it visible to all. The only advantage of removing it is just to make it a little bit less cluttered for them. But a really useful technique using the filter codes plugin. I'm Dave Ford. If you wish to get in touch, then please look at my contact details on the screen. I'm based in the UK, but I work with organisations all over the globe, providing consultancy, training and resource development services, mainly in the areas of Moodle and Tatara.